good afternoon everyone so today i'll be talking about matrices so what is a matrix a matrix represents a collection of numbers or functions in rows and columns yes all of you know this right so you have come across matrices topics in your second puc right so matrix is denoted by capital letters yes english alphabets capital letters let's check an example so matrix is nothing but a construction where you denote numbers or functions in such a way that there are many rows as well as columns so these are rows we represent rows this way and columns this way okay so this is row 1 that is r1 row 2 r2 this is column 1 c1 column 2 c2 we have something called as order of a matrix yes the entries inside this matrix is called as elements either you can call it as elements or entries okay so order is nothing but the number of rows cross the number of columns so how many number of rows do you have here one and two so two rows cross how many columns one two columns so two cross two is the order of this matrix let's check one more example so that is this is a second example where the order of the matrix is 3 cross 3 3 is number of rows cross number of columns right so number of rows how many are there 1 2 and 3 columns 1 2 and 3 okay next topic is elements of matrix a i j is equal to i through and j th column this means that we represent each element this way where i and j are i through and j th column we'll understand this better using an example so we have a matrix here which is of order 2 cross 2 the first element is in the position first row first column so that means a 1 1 first row first column next it is first row second column so a 1 2 next we have the next element which is in the second row first column so it is a 2 1 second row first column next number is in the position second row and second column that is a 2 2 so our first element a 1 1 in the position a 1 1 first row first column we have 0 in 1 2 the position first row second column we have 2 sorry one. let us check out one more example so b is equal to 1 4 6 3 2 5 4 3 2 this is the matrix of order 3 cross 3 tell me which is a 1 1 element that is first row first column first row first column our element is 1 yes so a 1 1 is nothing but 1 next a 1 2 first row second column so that is 4 1 3 is 6 and so on right okay I've, we have fill in that is 2 1 is 3 again 2 2 is 2 2 3 is 5 3 1 third row first column first second third row third row first column that means this is the element 4 3 2 that is third row second column element is 3 next is a 3 3 third row third column so that is 2 yes let's get into types of matrices so we have many types of matrices so let's see what is a column matrix it has only one column this type of matrices will always have only one column the order of column matrix is always m cross 1 because column matrix has only one column always the column will be column value will be 1 so number of rows may differ but the number of columns is always 1 let's see what is row matrix it has only one row yes see this has only one row no rows again right one row and number of columns how much ever we want we can take right so this is 1 cross 3 so order of row matrix is always 1 cross m so m can take the values 1 2 3 4 etc 
right okay what is a square matrix square matrix is nothing but the number of rows should be equal to number of columns okay so the number of rows here is 1 2 number of columns is 1 2 so 2 is equal to 2 so 2 cross 2 matrix 3 cross 3 matrix 4 cross 4 matrix 1 cross 1 matrix all are square matrices next is diagonal matrix so diagonal matrix there are two conditions in order to become a diagonal matrix that is it should be a square matrix and the non diagonal elements are zeros okay so the number see you can see some elements here 1 2 3 so this these elements where i and j are equal that is 1 1 2 2 Three three, right? The position of this is a one one is a two two a three three. Where i and j are equal, right? So these are diagonal elements. Apart from these, whatever elements you have, those are called as non-diagonal elements. Okay? So if it has to be a diagonal matrix, it should be a square matrix. So number of rows is equal to number of columns. Yes, it satisfies. Non-diagonal elements, those are these, right? these elements should be zeros okay so that type of matrices are called as diagonal matrix so scalar matrix it has two conditions that is it is a diagonal matrix and its all diagonal elements are equal so if these two conditions are satisfied we call such matrix as scalar matrix okay so let's see an example for that so we have a matrix here which is water 3 cross 3 our diagonal elements are equal right 5 5 and 5 if you construct one more example say if i give here it as 4 4 4 that also is a scalar matrix since the diagonal elements are equal as well as it is a diagonal matrix okay so what is identity or unit matrix in order to become an identity or unit matrix it should satisfy these conditions okay the conditions satisfied are it is a square matrix it should be a square matrix its value is always 1 its diagonal elements are only 1 its non diagonal elements are zeros okay that is we always represent the identity matrix using the letter capital i and the diagonal elements are always 1 1 1 it is a diagonal matrix also so the non diagonal elements is always zeros so this is in matrix of order 2 cross 2 so i hope you are clear with all the types of matrices till now so let's get into the next matrix zero matrix okay in the zero matrix all the elements are zeros okay and this matrix is denoted by you the letter o this is not zero this is o okay these elements are zeros the matrix which has all the elements equal to zero is called as a zero matrix upper triangular matrix okay elements below the diagonal elements are zeros so that means this is our upper triangle okay this is our upper triangle okay those elements should be numbers which is not equal to zeros and the elements below the diagonal elements should be zeros okay so this is an matrix of order 3 cross 3 we'll check out one more example see the elements below the diagonal elements are zeros such type of matrix is called as upper triangular matrix so we'll see one more so what is lower triangular matrix the elements above the diagonal elements are zeros as you can see the elements above the diagonal elements are zeros such type of matrices are called as lower triangular matrices okay thank you